Hello, James here. Welcome to this video. In this episode, we're going to show you what to do if your Mac doesn't have enough space to install macOS Sonoma. It's so frustrating when you're excited about installing the latest version of the operating system and then find that you can't because there's not enough space on your Mac. The good news is that it's not too difficult to fix. We show you all the tips and tricks you need. Before you try and install Sonoma, have you backed up your Mac? Don't even think about installing Sonoma until you've backed up. If something goes wrong, you could lose data. It's best to use Time Machine to back up because that way you can easily recover files and settings and you can even roll back to Ventura if you need to by restoring from the backup you made just before upgrading. How much space does Sonoma need? That's a tricky question. The answer is probably more than you think. Don't use the file size of the installer as the amount of space you need to install Sonoma. You probably need double that. For Ventura, a good rule of thumb was 25 gigabytes, and Sonoma should be the same. So if you have 25 gigabytes of free space, you should be good to go. If not, keep watching, and we'll show you how to reclaim the space you need. How to check the free storage on your Mac. Now we know how much free storage we need for Sonoma. We can check how much we have at the moment. Click on the Apple menu and choose System Settings. Then choose General. Click on Storage and wait for it to load. When it's done all its checking, you'll be able to see how much free storage you have at the top of the window. You'll also see what kind of files are taking up the rest of your storage. And you might see recommendations for freeing up space. If you do, follow them. That's a really quick win. How to free up storage on your Mac. Okay, now onto the really important bit. How do you free up storage on your Mac? Well, there are lots of things you can do. Here are the basic ones. One, clear out your downloads folder. Your downloads folder should be somewhere that you keep files. It's a transit stop. Files arrive there, and then you move them somewhere else. If there are files in there that you haven't moved somewhere else, do you really need them? If not, drag them to the trash. All those old desk image installers can go. You can always re-download the latest versions when you need them. Two, clear out the junk. Did you know that your Mac accumulates a ton of junk files as you use it? There are temporary files that should have been deleted automatically, but weren't. Cache files, files left behind by applications you got rid of ages ago, and language files for languages you don't even use. Together, these files can take up several gigabytes of space on your Mac, and they can even make it become unstable. So you really should clear them out regularly. And when you do, you'll have more space for Mac OS Sonoma. The easiest and quickest way to get rid of all these files is the System Junk tool in Clean My Mac X. It scans your Mac, looking for all those files that are taking up space and you don't need. You can then delete them all with a click, or review what it has found, and choose what to delete yourself. Best of all, Clean My Mac X is free to download, so you can try it yourself. The link is in the description. 3. Delete old iPhone or iPad backups Have you ever backed up your iPhone or iPad to your Mac? Maybe before you updated it to the latest operating system? If you did, the files are probably still on your Mac taking up lots of space. And if the backup is old, you don't need it anymore, so you can safely get rid of it. Just make sure before you do that your iPhone or iPad is set to backup to iCloud and you have a recent backup there. Once you've done that, follow these steps. First, plug the iPhone or iPad into your Mac. Next, open a Finder window and select the iPhone or iPad in the sidebar. In the main window, choose Manage Backups, then select the one you want to delete and click Delete. 4. Move large and old files to another disk. Got lots of image files or videos that you haven't opened in a long time? They're probably taking up lots of space. You can delete them or move them to another disk, and you'll quickly get disk space back. If you want an easy way to find and deal with the largest and oldest files on your Mac, Clean My Mac X's Large and Old Files module was designed to do just that. 5. Delete Podcast Downloads Do you really need downloaded podcasts on your Mac? They take up lots of space, and you can stream any podcast you like when you want to listen to it, as long as you have an internet connection. So now is a good time to look at the podcasts you've downloaded and decide which ones to delete. Open System Settings. Click General and choose Storage. Now, click Podcasts. You'll see how much space they're using. If you want to free up space, click the I and choose Open Podcasts. In Podcasts, click Downloads in the sidebar. Now, select a show, then click on the three dots and choose Remove Downloads. Those are just some of the things you can do to free up space for macOS Sonoma. 
You can also get rid of disk images you don't need and uninstall apps you don't use. Pretty soon, you won't see the not enough space to install Sonoma message anymore, and you'll be able to install it and start having fun with it. Thanks for watching and look out for our next video. Or better still, hit subscribe so you'll never miss an episode.